You know, um, hello world. <laughs> this is Michael thinking here. Um, I've been asked several times to explain my deconversion experience. Just basically how I possibly could have gone from being a Bible-believing fundamentalist uh, Pentecostal Christian to uh, an agnostic and then which was actually very brief uh, and then skating right on into uh, full-blown atheism um, in a relatively short period of time uh, compared to the, the length of time that I was a Christian. I would say that whole process took approximately six months. Um, it involved study of the word. Um, you know, I, I, I cannot tell you how many times a Christian has said to me, well, um, you know, if you would just study the Bible and pray, um, God would reveal himself to you and show you that it's all true. Number one was the challenge to the inerrancy of the scriptures. If the Bible wasn't true, if it could not be depended upon to be the inerrant word of God, inspired by the Holy Spirit, written down by men, um, almost a verbatim, um, uh, word for word, inspired knowledge and truth from the creator of all that is. If, if, if the Bible itself could be brought into serious question as to whether or not it was actually from a real uh, God, then the faith that my uh, uh, religion was based upon was in itself horribly flawed and false. And lo and behold, with multiple hours of study, uh, I find, what do I find? I find that the Bible is not inerrant. I discover that the Gospels were not even written by the Apostles. Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John were actually written 30 to 120 years later from stories upon stories upon stories that have passed on and eventually written in Greek by some scholar that had never ever even met them. Um, and there are multiple flaws in them. I find multiple changes and, in chronology, even in the four Gospels, as to what happened, when did Christ die, on what day, uh, what time of the day, what happened at the tomb, who was there, who wasn't there, what did they do after they were there. Um, the fact that there were actually additions made uh, way after the fact and that they, the various renditions do not agree with one another. And actually folks it just gets worse from there. Once I allowed myself to start questioning the inerrancy of the scriptures and the stories, then I started looking at the specific stories that I was brought up to believe were actually true. Uh, stories like Noah's Ark, stories like the Garden of Eden, Stories like the sun standing still so a uh, prophet of God could win a battle. Um, these stories, uh, Jonah and the whale, all were taught to me as a child and e as an adult and in two years of seminary training as actual historical events that, that occurred to show and prove the grandeur and the wonder and the nature and the character of God. And as these started to crumble, and they crumbled one by one by one, any serious study of them with what is known about reality of the world would show that these actually did not and could not have happened. And, and folks, the final house of cards that fell um, I think that finally put the cap on uh, a not a, a never being able to turn back to the belief that the God that is depicted in the Bible is actually the creator of the universe, omniscient, omnipresent, all good, all knowing, all kind, uh, who created man uh, and specifically set out a test for him 
and provided a way of his salvation, created heaven, created hell, uh, created all the angels, all the cosmos, everything that is, this God absolutely could not and does not exist. The final, I, I guess, nail in the coffin of my belief system has to do with the morality and ethics of how the Bible depicts this um, vision of God. Uh, he's genocidal, he's a megalomaniac, he's a murderer, he is, has no compassion or feeling for children, pregnant women, uh, condoned uh, rape, uh, condoned slavery, uh, 613 laws in Leviticus, uh, 600 of them which are absolutely ridiculous and show that the people of that time knew very little, uh, almost nothing about the reality of the world that they lived in. Uh, it is a rejection of science and everything that we know. It just absolutely cannot and is not the word of any kind of God that I or anyone of any sentient knowledge would worship.